Welcome to Liliana's Wifi Bisco. Today's class, Basic Fundamentals. So, why don't we start with the simple? Let's start with spacing and footwork. So what is spacing and footwork? So in simplicity, it means your positioning between you and your opponent. When you see your opponent up trying to attack you from neutral, you can react by running to the back and then punish set attack. Or even for baiting an attack, and then punish. In the Oxos PvP doing an attack minus they won and well. You can space certain attacks in the Oxos tree and even strafe certain trusting weapons. Ok, next is backstab vision. So, most of it will only work when your opponent is making a mistake of doing a UGS running attack or spin spear running attack. Of course, there are type player that use weapon art spam and you can punish them with a backstab as well. Very simple thing you need to do is just run to his back and then backstab your opponent. But in high latency, most of the time it will not worth trying this for a backstab unless you are sure that the backstab is going to land or not. And yeah, I forget, you can roll to the back and then backstab. For parry, I won't recommend it for those. It's only good for invasion and hosting. But anyone could parry to be honest. Here's one downside, it's useless on high latency. Ok, next is what to do on certain situations. If you get hit by an opponent, do not try to attack out of your hit stun. Instead, try to run away and back to neutral and minimize your damage if possible. There are tricks to get out of hit stun which, are, which was called Dead Angle. It's an art of winning a cross quarter fight. Lock off, then aim your swing to the far left. This was also called Axel in Melee PvP gear. So the opponent will get hit very earlier than it should be. And you will interrupt their attack as well, prompting you to combo your opponent. This trick also works on Perry King 50 50, but they are, to be honest, harder opponent even for experienced player. First, for some of you who ask what is 50-50, we can use Google definition for this. It says, simple mix-ups that only requires choosing between two defensive options are often called 50-50s, which work very complete. So they only did R1 spam and then parry spam, which is why we we'll call it lazy 50-50. Getting off, off topic here with the Perry King. <laughs> okay, one more thing you can do work passive and aggressive plays. But I only recommend try keep a balance of both. Be passive when you need to be passive, and be aggressive when you see the opportunity to be aggressive and pressure your opponent. Okay, next is basic of hard swapping and inventory management. So you see, this is my string bit of inventory. Pretty cool, right? So this will be depends on the, the individual taste on how you set your inventory. Most counter brothers usually stack the same weapons, like 10 weapons or something, so they can scroll down and equip. But for me, I don't like scrolling down because I play keyboard mouse. But just. Keep training your hard swap, make sure your muscle memory are used to your mate inventory. Next is reading your opening actions. Yeah, by reading them you can react with all kinds of actions. Peter with the dots for punish. Reading also means you need to predict what they gonna do next. They will do running attack or perhaps they will just gonna run in a circle, whatever they are doing, you know. So reading also means you need to find weaknesses on what they kept doing during the fight and use it to your advantage. 
So for example, if your opponent keep running around the circle, try it. Really a surprise running attack. By running around your seven, then suddenly running attack him and he will not see it coming. Like this only applies to at least once or twice. Because now they know you like doing running attack against them. And then you're gonna have to find other tactics available to you. Either you'll be trying to aggress him with a race of getting punished, or wait for him to make a move and you try to punish and it's up to you to be honest. And lastly learn all kinds of weapons, or even main your favorite setup. For yourself you can start with to train your basic fundamental. Sword and board. So, sword and board are consists of a stretch sword and a shield. Here's my recommended stretch swords to learn your basics. Both are twin swords. Lotric knight sword, ring knight stretch sword, and finally, sunlight stretch sword. And here's my recommended shields to use. Black knight shield, silver knight shield, and lastly, lightning infused Lotric knight shield, curse sword. Here's my recommended Curve Swords to main. Rotten Groove Curve Swords, Scimitar. And Painting Guardian Curve Sword. But Liana, what about Pontiff Knight Curve Sword? Sadly, I cannot recommend this weapon, unfortunately. PK is very cheesy and too easy to use. If you want to get good, do not use this weapon to learn. Use the weapon above and you will get good. And only use Pontiff Knight Curse Word later, when you master one of the Curse Word above. Okay, that's a lesson, my students. For now, the class is over. Please do your homework on the basic fundamentals, my students. And make sure to subscribe and leave a like. May the flames guide your way.